Hey everybody. So about a month and a half ago, we got back from an amazing trip to Washington and I wanted to share it with you all. We spent three nights in Port Angeles to visit Olympic National Park, four nights in Ashford to visit Mount Rainier National Park, two nights in Leavenworth to do the Enchantments hike, two nights in Burlington to visit North Cascades National Park, more on that later, and two nights in Glacier to visit Mount Baker. We had a cute Airbnb in Port Angeles we loved. Our first full day there, we got a later start than normal after sleeping in a little, getting breakfast, and getting some groceries. And then we went to do what we'd heard was one of the most incredible things to see at Olympic National Park, Hurricane Ridge. And it definitely was. We did the Hurricane Hill hike, a short, not too difficult hike that almost anyone could do. I would say the payoff to effort ratio for this hike was great. The following morning, we headed to the western side of the park to see the Ho Rainforest, a temperate rainforest that gets up to 14 feet of rain a year and has trees as old as a thousand years old. We hiked, or honestly really just walked, the Hall of Mosses. It was an extremely short, flat, and accessible trail for anyone. It felt like we were in another country. It looked so cool. We ended up also doing the Spruce Nature Trail too, since they both were so short. And I would recommend both trails. We then drove to Rialto Beach and did the Hole in the Wall hike. This was one of Cameron's favorite stops of the whole trip. With the giant rocks in the ocean, all the washed up driftwood and the rich smell of salt in the air, it really was a special day. And shout out to the Three Rivers restaurant. Cameron loved this place because it was a twilight themed restaurant where we randomly got one of the best milkshakes I've ever had. The following day, I woke up early to hike Mount Storm King. This is a short hike, but the rate of elevation gain is crazy. Your legs will definitely be burning on this hike. It has a steep section with some ropes, but at the top there is an amazing view. This was probably my favorite hike and experience personally at Olympic National Park. After that, we packed up and left Port Angeles and headed to Whitaker's Inn in Ashford. On the way, Cameron found a cute little park for us to eat at. Unfortunately, we got to Ashford a little too late to do any hiking, but it worked out because we happened to randomly discover that due to wildfires, the highway that goes through North Cascades National Park was closed, making our itinerary nearly impossible. So instead, we rebooked an alternate itinerary that had us staying an extra day in Burlington and an extra day in Glacier, and it ended up working out great. The following morning, it called for rain all day, but I rented a raincoat, don't know how I forgot mine, and I put a trash bag over my book bag to keep it dry and went and hiked Snowgrass Flats and Goat Lake Loop. Cameron didn't come because, aside from being pregnant, she was not interested in hiking in the rain. The good news is it only actively rained for the first two or three miles. The bad news is that it was pretty foggy the whole time, so it's kind of hard to judge the trail. I'd heard really amazing things about it though, so I'd love to come back and do it again when the weather is better. The following morning, Cameron was feeling great, so we woke up and went to hike the Skyline Trail in Mount Rainier National Park. This is one of the most beautiful and popular hikes in the whole state. It was such an incredible hike. One of the best five to six mile hikes I've done. It was a little cloudy, but we were still able to see a lot of Mount Rainier. Cameron said this was one of her favorite hikes that she's done as well. We went back to the room after that and ate, and then I drove to the sunrise entrance of the park and did the Burroughs Mountain Loop Trail. It didn't have as many green meadows, but you could see Mount Rainier almost the whole time. It was covered by clouds the first half of the hike, but almost as soon as I turned around to head back, the clouds parted and the mountain was completely exposed. 
the videos don't really do it justice, but it was so majestic. The following morning, we packed up and headed out. We stopped and did the Natchez Peak Loop Trail on our way out. It was very crowded, being the Saturday afternoon of Labor Day weekend, but it was a nice little trail, very family friendly, and we enjoyed it. Then we made it to our Airbnb in Leavenworth. This was such a unique little town. Evidently decades ago, the town decided to become Bavarian themed to spark more tourism. We went to Germany a year ago. One of the linked videos at the end of this one is of that trip. But I can definitely say that Leavenworth looks exactly like a little German town in the Alps. It's crazy. The next morning, I woke up really early to hike the enchantments. This is widely considered one of the most incredible and difficult day hikes in the US. I made it to the Snow Lakes Trailhead to take a shuttle I'd booked to the Stewart Lakes Trailhead so I could hike back to the lot where my car was. The first several miles were in the dark, and then I made it to the dreaded Asgard's Pass. This is considered one of the tougher parts of the trail, if not the toughest. It was certainly a workout, but I did make it through. And after you make it to the top, you come to the core enchantments. And it's honestly hard to put into words how incredible this was. I've been fortunate to do some amazing hikes, but this was the most beautiful section of a hike I've ever done. I honestly felt like I was on another planet. With most hikes, you see one or two beautiful lakes, but there was just lake after lake after lake, glacial ice, just everything was incredible. The hike was 20 plus miles, 5,000 plus feet of elevation gain, 7,000 feet of elevation loss. Yes, you feel that in your knees. And it took me about 10 and a half hours to complete, but it was 100% worth it. I'm already trying to figure out how and when I can come back to hike it again. Not even kidding or exaggerating, this was one of the best days of my life. The next day we took it easy before heading to Burlington. We ate lunch at Muchenhaus, a bratwurst place that was so good. Then we got some great ice cream at Whistlepunk ice cream and headed out. On the way to Burlington, we stopped at Reptile Zoo, the most extensive collection of reptiles in the Pacific Northwest. This was a super random stop, but I knew Cameron would enjoy it and she hadn't been able to hike as much because she wasn't feeling great. So I wanted to do this for her. She loved this place and honestly, I did too. At $10 a ticket, I really think it's definitely worth the stop. I woke up the following morning and drove to hike Cascade Pass and Sahel Arm Trail. A lot of people consider this one of the best trails in North Cascades National Park and even in the whole state, so I was very excited. Unfortunately, it was incredibly foggy and cloudy with no views and it was really cold, even with all the elevation gain. So I was really bummed, but I was shocked that when I made it to the top, you could see everything. The views were amazing, and the way back, fortunately, was more clear. This was a fantastic hike, very tough, but I would recommend it. That night, we ate dinner at Racha Wadi Thai Cafe. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And it was some of the best Thai food I've eaten. So fresh and so delicious. The next day we left for Glacier, Washington. We stayed at the Blue Tea Lodge just outside the park and really enjoyed our stay there. We went straight to the park to hike Upper Lodge to Artist Point, but it was not well marked and we ended up kind of doing the Wild Goose Trail, which was nice. It was very pretty and it led to the famous Artist's Point. We went back and checked into the hotel, and then I came back out to hike Ptarmigan Ridge Trail. This was such a great hike. It was long, but the elevation wasn't terrible, and I thought it was pretty well spread out. I thought there were pretty much good views the entire hike, and I love ridge hikes, so this might have actually been my second favorite hike after the enchantments. Really awesome, would highly recommend. The next day was our last full day. Cameron unfortunately didn't feel up to hiking, so I went and hiked Yellow Astro Boot. It was a good hike, 
but honestly it was not one of the top ones for me. I thought it might have been slightly overrated, but still good. And then after that I went and hiked the Chain Lakes Loop. This is the most popular hike in the park for good reason. It's beautiful, not too difficult compared to a lot of the hikes. This honestly was a great hike to end on. We had such a memorable trip to Washington. The state definitely exceeded my expectations. Like always, I want to mention that in addition to loving hiking, we love helping people meet their real estate needs. So if you're looking to buy or sell a house anywhere in the US, please reach out and we'd be happy to help you or connect you with someone who can. Thank you so much for watching our video and we'll see you next time.